I'm gonna do another quick tutorial video for you here today. This one is about how to add a blog to your WhoZip website. It's very, very simple. I'm gonna get this done probably in three or four minutes max. So stick with me. I'm gonna show you how to not only add the blog section uh, to your site, but also how to create posts. Um, and you've heard us talk about this a lot, the importance of blogging, because this is what's gonna have the continual new content showing up on your website, and that is what the SEO, uh, what's gonna have the biggest impact on your SEO is the recency and frequency of content. You've heard me use that term a lot. And the, the web engines, the search engines, they all love to see new content, distinct content being put on your site regularly. So let's talk about how to get that blog going. As you'll notice, this site that I've created for the purposes of this, it does not have a blog section here yet. You can see what's on the top menu. So we're going to add one. And all you're going to do is go into your back panel, which at this point you're very familiar with, and you're going to go to Pages, and you're going to Add New. When you hit Add New, we're going to label this blog. Simple enough. Now, if you want to call it newsletter, go for it. If you have a, a brand, uh, some sort of publication you've been doing for a while and you want to use that brand name of the blog here, you can go and do that as well. I'm just going to keep it very, very simple. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the Who's It Builder because here we've already created a blog page type for you. So you don't have to create it and format it or anything like that. You're just going to hit Use the Who's It Builder. And then you're gonna go load from library. Once you're in the library, just scroll down until you see a couple of different blog types. These are just different styles of blog that you can have. There's a masonry style and there's a standard style. I'm not gonna go into style things today, but you can explore and decide which one uh, you like best, You know which look sort of suits you. But for today, I'm just gonna choose standard and I'm gonna hit load. Once I hit load, you'll see that blog module has now been added to my page. I've labeled it blog, and so now I'm gonna hit publish. I now have a blog section to my website. Now, if you go back to your website and you hit refresh, you notice that you still don't see any blog section. And that's because even though the page does exist, I haven't created a menu item for it. So we've got to go in there and create a menu item that's going to let us navigate to that blog page that was just created. Very, very simple to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go back into our back panel and we're going to go to appearance and menus. And once we're in menus, you're going to see here that we have the option to add different pages to our top menu. So we're going to hit blog and we're gonna just simply hit add to menu. Pretty straightforward. There it is. So now your menu structure is your homepage, how it works, testimonials, FAQs, and that blog that we just added. You can check the settings here to make sure that this is how it's gonna show up in your navigation label. Everything looks good, pretty straightforward. Now we're just gonna hit save this menu. And as you might imagine, now, once I go back over to my page and I refresh, voila, there it is, just like that. Now I have the blog section created on my website. Now, you'll notice once I hit blog, obviously I have no entries. I haven't done a blog post yet, but the page itself now exists. It's in the right format and uh, you'll be able to see recent posts over here, categories when you create them, etc., etc. So now, let's go into how to create that first blog post. Let's go back in to our back panel. Now this is very important. Now that you have created a blog page, your Whozip site already knows that it exists. You don't have to go to pages and edit from there anymore. From now on, you can simply go to posts. The website already knows that posts pertain to the blog. And so when you create a post, you're just gonna hit add new and you're gonna put in some content. And when you publish this new content, it's like it's gonna automatically just sort of suck this content over into that page. Because again, it, the system is already set up to know what the word post means. So now we're just gonna do test post number one, just to you know give you guys an example. Um, 
brilliant commentary by you <laughs> okay whatever it is that you end up writing about so this is going to be where the body of your content goes this is going to be the title of that individual blog post right um, and then what's really we think smart to do and it's pretty standard now in, in blogging is you want to have a thumbnail image it's sort of a, a reference picture that you know illustrates the topic that you're writing about or makes it easy for people to sort of uh, figure out what it is that you're going to write about and you do that here you're just going to hit set featured image once you do that it's going to take you to your media library you can just choose any image that you have if you don't have an image you can just upload or drag an image here to this palette and it will add it to your library but for now we're just going to use this icon that i have in the library notice too this is a pretty small file size that's really important you want to make sure these images are pretty small um, you don't need super high-res images just for these thumbnails they take up a lot of space um, they slow down your load times and that again can impact your SEO when your page loads really slowly but here we go this is a good image it's small enough um, you know if we were gonna write a post about interest rates this would be ideal so we're just gonna hit set featured image um, again this is all just for example sake and we're going to hit publish and now if we go over to our page and we hit refresh voila so there it is there's our first post you'll see that here's our thumbnail image that we added from the library here is the title and we just gave it a dummy title test post number one and there was also uh, the copy that we put in there, the main body of it. And so obviously you'd write quite a bit more. Um, we suggest, you know, at least a couple of hundred words. We can give you more guidance about blogging. Um, some of the recent research says that longer blog posts are what really increase your authority. And so every once in a while you want to do one of those longer posts, sort of, you know, 1800 to 2000 words or more I know that sounds like a lot but that's really going to generate and ramp up the authority but just for your regular sort of um, weekly you know post just to, to keep the, the, the consistency of content going you can do two three hundred word type posts and you'll be fine but anyway that video that that's gonna do it for this video and you see just how quickly and how easy easily we were able to add not only the blog section to your website but then to go in and create that first post and from there it's just rinse repeat go back into that back panel go to your posts hit add new write something brilliant that your readers are going to love to to read and learn and then add a featured image and uh, and you're off to the races so look if you have any questions about this um, if uh, any of it's unclear uh, just shoot us a note at support at whozip.com until the next time yeah, happy hunting. We'll talk to you soon.